Hey everyone. We're here in Edinburgh, Scotland, and in this video, we're excited to share the top things to do in and around the city. We hope you enjoy it. Edinburgh, located in southeastern Scotland, is one of Europe's most visited cities. It's renowned for its whisky heritage, stunning architecture, fascinating history, and beautiful natural scenery, as well as its lively pub scene. The city is large enough to keep you entertained, yet compact enough to explore on foot. In this video, we'll cover 10 of the best things to do in Edinburgh, ideally suited for a 3-4 day visit. Let's dive in. We're Zach and Ina, and we create helpful videos about destinations around the world to make planning your adventures easier. Edinburgh's old town is the vibrant heart of the city. Established during the Middle Ages, it's home to centuries-old buildings and narrow alleys. This area is likely to be your first stop and is also a great place to stay. To get a true sense of this historic area, we recommend joining a free walking tour. These tours are usually available multiple times a day, and if history isn't your thing, you can also find Ghost and Harry Potter tours. Links to all these walking tours are in the description below. Perched on an extinct volcanic rock, Edinburgh Castle is the most iconic site in the old town and the city as a whole. With its rich history as a royal residence, military garrison, prison, and fortress, the castle offers plenty to explore. Highlights include the Great Hall, the Prisons of War Exhibition, the Crown Jewels, and the National War Museum. Admission to these attractions is included in the ticket price, and while the castle itself isn't free, the views from the top are. If you enjoyed the view from the castle, just wait until you see the view from Calton Hill. Every day at 1pm, they fire the time gun from the castle, except on Sundays. We just missed it, but it's definitely worth checking out. This tradition dates back hundreds of years when people used it to set their clocks. Stretching for a mile between Edinburgh Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House, the Royal Mile is the main thoroughfare of Edinburgh's old town. A walk down the Royal Mile will let you experience traditional pubs, churches, and historic buildings. Be sure to try Scotland's national dish, haggis, at a local pub. It's a blend of sheep's liver, heart, and lungs mixed with other ingredients and is tastier than it sounds. Besides the pubs, you'll also find many souvenir and whiskey shops along the Royal Mile. For a unique Scottish souvenir, check out our sponsor, Established Titles. They offer souvenir plots of land, giving you the honorary title of Laird, Lord, or Lady, based on a historic Scottish custom. We got ours from Established Titles online, but we also visited our plot in Edelston, just a short drive from Edinburgh. Established Titles is a fun and unique way to help preserve Scotland's natural woodlands while supporting global reforestation efforts. For every order, they plant a tree and work with charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. As a special offer, Established Titles is providing a 10% discount for viewers of this video. Find more information and your own plot of land through the link in the description below. Plus, the first 200 people to purchase a title pack using our link will be next to my plot. Located in the middle of the Royal Mile, St. Giles's Cathedral has been a working church for centuries, witnessing Scotland's tumultuous religious history and playing a significant role in the Scottish Reformation. Today, you can admire its beautiful architecture and stained glass windows. It's free to visit and a great place to escape the rain. Edinburgh is renowned for its whisky, and you'll find numerous bars and shops dedicated to this drink. If you're new to whiskey or want to learn more about its history, consider joining a tasting tour. You'll get to sample a variety of whiskies, from the delicate flavors of the lowlands to the bold tastes of Isla. A link to a whiskey tasting experience is in the description below. The best view of Edinburgh's old town is from Calton Hill. Just a short hike from both the old and new towns, Calton Hill is home to several interesting monuments, including the national monument inspired by the Parthenon in Athens. Most visitors enjoy the incredible views from the Dougald Stewart Monument. Sunset is the best time to visit, but it can get busy on clear days. Next to the old town is Edinburgh's new town, developed between the 18th and 19th centuries, retaining much of its original neoclassical and Georgian architecture. Today, this area is filled with designer shops, trendy bars, and excellent restaurants perfect for shopping and dining. Adjacent to the busiest shopping street in the new town, Prince's Street Gardens is a lovely green space offering some of the best views of the old town and Edinburgh Castle. 
It's free to visit and features the notable Scott Monument. A short 10-minute walk from the end of Princes Street takes you to one of Edinburgh's most picturesque neighborhoods, Dean Village. Once home to 11 working mills until the 19th century, Dean Village is now a tranquil retreat, blending nature with charming architecture. When you visit Dean Village, don't miss the Water of Leith walkway. It's a peaceful spot where you can enjoy the gentle flow of water and take a break from the city. The ultimate escape from urban life is a hike up Arthur's Seat, a dormant volcano and one of Edinburgh's highest points. Located in Holyrood Park, there are several routes to the summit. The most popular trail starts near Holyrood Palace and takes about 30 to 60 minutes. From the top, you'll enjoy panoramic views of Edinburgh and the Port of Leith. If you're interested in Scottish royal history, consider combining your visit with Holyrood Palace. There are many other things to do in Edinburgh that we haven't covered here. We've included a list of these additional activities on the screen for you. If you're planning a trip to Scotland, we recommend staying organized with our interactive travel planner discount code in the description. We've also included essential links for your Edinburgh trip, including a full travel guide, dining and accommodation recommendations, and an interactive map to help you navigate each spot we mentioned. See you on the next adventure.